In the Gameplay tab set, the Interact prompt style to compact so the pop-ups on your screen appear smaller. For button hints, you can keep it on to see the prompts. Crosshair damage feedback is a personal preference, but I keep it off so I don't see an X mark on my screen when I damage an enemy. But if you are a Caustic or Watson player, then I recommend keeping this to X so you can see if someone's getting hit by your gas or fences. Damage numbers, I keep it to stacking instead of floating because I don't want to see numbers all over my screen which causes visual clutter. Ping opacity, set it to faded so you can see through it. Obituaries are the information that shows up on the right side of your screen that consists of squads eliminated, shields broken, etc. So you can keep this off if you don't want to see those informations. Minimap rotation. I keep it to off instead of on, so I don't feel dizzy while using the map. Weapon auto cycle, you can keep this on. So your legend switches automatically to the secondary weapon once the primary weapon is out of ammo. Always sprint or auto sprint is a personal preference, but do note that if auto sprint is on, there's a slight delay while shooting shotguns. Auto run, you can keep this off. Jetpack control, keep it to hold. So you have more control while playing as Valkyrie. Incoming damage, feedback you can set to what you prefer the most, like 2D or 3D. Taking damage closes death box is one of the most important setting that you have to change. Keep the setting always off so you don't get interrupted during your precious looting or crafting phase. Off-screen portraits, keep this on. Hop up, pop up, keep this on if you want to see the hop up on your gun or keep it off. Streamer mode and anonymous mode is personal preference, but I keep it off anyways. Usage sharing disabled or enabled depends on whether you want to give your game information to EA or not. Performance display. I keep it on so I can see if there is any packet loss or frame drops during the game. Communication filter is again personal preference. Reticle and laser sight is also a personal preference, but I keep switching between green and white. If you are colorblind, then you can try out these different settings in this option. Subtitles off because this is not a story mode game. Mouse sensitivity is personal choice, so test out your sense in the firing range. For ADS mouse sense, you either set one sense to all the sights of your guns, or you can set individual sense to each sight. Mouse acceleration, keep it off so you don't get a boost in speed while aiming. For keybinds, you can set them according to what you would like. But if you want to tap strafe, wall bounce, bunny hop, mantle jump, then I recommend you set the move forward key to scroll up and jump to scroll down. Display mode, keep it on full screen so you get the maximum FPS possible. Aspect ratio, set it according to your monitor. For brightness, I keep it at 72%, so the game's a bit bright. And I also have this setting called RTX Dynamic Vibrance, set in the NVIDIA settings, to give the game a more vibrant look. FOV, I keep it at max, so I get the maximum info on my screen. FOV Ability Scaling, keep it disabled. So when you play character like Octane or Maggie, your FOVD doesn't change while stemming or running with a Maggie Ultimate. Sprint View. Keep it to minimal so your screen doesn't shake too much while sprinting. Now coming to the graphics settings, I have mine set accordingly. So the game doesn't feel washed out or lack textures for V-Sync. Keep this disabled. NVIDIA Reflex, keep it to enabled or if you have a low-end CPU, then keep it on enabled plus boost. Anti-aliasing, keep it on TSA if you don't want to see jagged edges. Texture streaming budget, Keep it to off if you are struggling to get FPS or just keep it to medium because even if you put the texture quality to very high, there is no much difference when you look at the quality. Texture filtering doesn't have much effect on your GPU, so you can max it out. Ambient occlusion, keep it off to get some FPS. Sun shadow coverage, keep it to low. Sun shadow, keep it low. Spot shadow, keep it low or off. If you keep it off, you will get like two or four FPS more. Volumetric lighting, keep it disabled. Dynamic spot shadows, disabled. Model detail, you can keep it high or off, depending on your preference. Map details and new setting added to the game. So if you keep this on low, then you can get a few FPS more. Effects detail, keep it low, so you can see a bit better when getting spammed by thermites. Impact marks is personal preference. If you want to see bullet marks on walls, Ragdolls are nothing but the animation that happens when you eliminate an enemy, so keep it high because you won't lose any frames. If you are a competitive player, 
then you can paste this in your video settings file. If you don't know where the file is, then go to your C drive, users, your username, saved games, respawn, apex, local and video settings, TEFG. Just remember that when you replace these settings, the game will be at the lowest quality, but you will get a good stable FPS. And don't forget to make a backup copy of the video settings file, if in case you want to go back to your old settings. So if this video helped you, do leave a like, and thanks for watching.